So you want to know how to journal. If you clicked on this video, I'm assuming you don't really know where to start. Or maybe you just want to learn a little bit more about journaling. Lucky for you, I've been journaling since... Hold on. I've been journaling since first grade. So I kind of have an idea about how you do it. So first things first, you need a journal. You can use a composition notebook, a small journal, a big journal. You can DIY your own journal or you can even use some pieces of paper in a binder. Whatever you choose, I recommend a journal that is durable because chances are you're gonna wanna keep it around for quite some time. But overall, it doesn't really matter the size, shape, or color that the journal is. What matters is that it works for you. This is the journal that I am currently using. It's this nice black leather journal and I believe I got it from Target or Walmart. One of those, I can't remember. But I love the cover, it just has a bunch of inspirational quotes, and it's just like a really sturdy journal. Next, you need something to write with. Pick your favorite, pens or pencils, mechanical or regular, black or blue ink. I personally like black pens. I recommend pens with darker ink because it's easier to read, and unlike pencil lead, pen ink won't fade over time. Here you can see the difference between a black, dark inked pen and then a light blue one which is not nearly as dark as the black pen. Clearly it is much easier to read the darker ink. And then like I said before, I do prefer pen ink over pencil lead because pencil does fade over time. In my elementary school journals, I did write in pencil and a lot of it is all faded and kind of just smearing over the pages just because that's what happens with time. However, once I started using pen, it completely stopped doing that. One time in middle school when I got a new pack of pens, I actually wrote every single line a different color just to like try out the new pens and everything because I was so excited. And I really used the yellow pen to write stuff with and I can't see what it says because it's so light. So make sure you use dark ink. And that's pretty much it. That's all you need. But you want to know how to journal. So I'll tell you. But real quick, do you like my socks? I love them so much. I'm obsessed with Spongebob. But that's not the point of this video. The truth is, is there really isn't a right way to journal. What you need to do is find out what works for you. But how do you do that? What I recommend is that you find your purpose. Why do you want to journal? Why is it important to you? Do you like the idea of having notebooks filled to the brim with words? Or do you want to use it as a creative outlet to explore the written language? Maybe you want to log your dreams, or maybe you want a documentation of your past memories. A journal can be used so many different ways. And before you start using one, you need to figure out what you want to use it for and why. But even once you know your purpose, what should you even write about? So many people ask me what I write, so I'm here to tell you. In my day-to-day -day life, I think I oftentimes get lost in focusing on other people. I naturally put my focus on doing good for others. So because of that, I use my journal as a selfish time for myself. It kind of just acts as a reminder for me to spend time doing something for myself. So I write about me and my life. It's my journal, so I can do what I want with it. Normally, I write about how my day went, what happened during that day, and reflections on it. I write about how certain things make me feel, what I'm passionate about, different people in my life, significant things going on in my life or the world and my thoughts on it, things that are on my mind, my plans for the future, literally anything and everything that's important to me. Sometimes I even write about things that are completely unimportant. When I'm stressed or I have a lot on my mind, I like to do a brain dump where basically I'll just make like a bulleted list of everything on my mind. It really helps me to know that I have it out of my mind and written down on something tangible. I also love to use my journals for reflection. Sometimes I reflect on my day or certain things in my life. Other times I like to flip through old journals and see how much I've changed. And I will say, the more you journal, the easier it is to recognize how much you've grown as an individual. Also, another really important thing while you're writing is to, of course, write the date. No matter what you are writing, I don't care, you have to write the date that you wrote it. Because the worst thing that could happen is that you look back on your writing years from now and you don't remember what day you wrote it on. I don't care if you say you'll remember, just do it. 
I also like writing the day of the week and this year I've even started writing the time that I start writing at because I think it gives the journal entry a lot more context. I also recommend that you try changing up your format. Make the most of your writing and make it personal to you. You could just have one stream of thought and have it written in a really long paragraph or you could play around with different paragraphs and spacing. You could use different fonts and font sizes. You could skip a line here and there. Go crazy, just make sure to have fun with it. This year I'm trying to include doodles and more color in my writing, and I'm even trying to incorporate some bullet journal type things. Even after journaling for over 10 years, I really don't even have a specific format that I use. I've also been journaling every day now for the past three years, so I'm kind of used to just doing whatever. But honestly, that's the beauty of journaling. And I'm not gonna lie, it's really cool to have a whole written record of my entire life. What you put in is what you get out of it. And it's helped me grow in unimaginable ways. 50 years from now, I'll be able to look back on a first-hand account of my childhood and my thoughts on the world, and that, to me, is irreplaceable. That is just so special. So I challenge you guys to give it a try. What's the worst that could happen? If you enjoyed today's video, I would love it if you gave it a huge thumbs up, and also, if you wanna see more videos like these, make sure to subscribe to my channel. But wait, before you leave, let me know in the comments down below what other journaling videos you would like to see. Also, if you journal already, I would love to hear your experience with it, how long you've been doing it, how it makes you feel, or really anything on your mind. Anyway, I hope you all have a great day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!